by a sudden slip and fall. The tectonic plates are always in the slow moving action, but when they stuck at the edges due to friction, the stress on the edge overcomes uh, by releasing an energy in the form of waves, which travel through Earth's crest and that we feel as an earthquake. So the effects of the earthquake may be uh, very devastating in terms of life and property. It, it may be due to lack of engineering service, design faults, material quality and workmanship. So response of uh, RC structures in earthquake. First is soft and weak story mechanism. In some RC buildings, uh, generally the ground floor encloses with glass windows uh, for any design or functional reasons instead of brick infill walls and the partition walls above uh, which are constructed in the above stories may be uh, uh, may be in form of bricks in such cases brittle failures occurs at the end of the columns it happens because of change in the lateral spin between the adjacent stories due to the lack of uh, uh, lack of cross sections of the columns in such case, total or partial collapse occurs in these stories. So this picture shows the drift due to soft story at the ground floor. And this shows the weak story mechanism during an earthquake. So the main reason uh, due to this collapse is of low rigidity of RC structure members at the ground floor. This type of failure can be prevented during the design phase by designing with more details. So the next is inadequate transverse reinforcement in columns and beams. Shear forces generally increases during an earthquake, especially at the columns and the beam column joints. So special attention should be provided. And uh, in particular, columns of the building can have insufficient transverse reinforcement in plastic region, which uh, in such cases it show low performance against dynamic loads and it lost their shear and axial load carrying capacity. So this picture shows the uh, inadequate spacing between shear reinforcement during an earthquake. So the main reason for uh, this failure is due to uh, not providing bending hooks, hook of ties and structural elements. And this problem can be solved by using closed space syrups and one providing 135 degree bender loops to increase the shear resistance of structure. Shiva, Shivani, sorry to disturb you. Shivani, uh, slide on the first slide here. Uh, yeah, now it's okay. Yeah, now it's okay. Carry on. Um, okay, sir. Short column. So this type of uh, failure occurs when the column length is more uh, column length is very short. Generally, the lateral forces uh, that occur during an earthquake are carried by columns and the shear walls. So the length of the column is an important factor for dissipation of these fluids. When the length of the column decreases, the column becomes more stiffer and brittle than the other columns which attracts more shear forces. So uh, this picture shows the column damage. So the main reason for this failure is uh, not providing the uh, enough uh, length for the column. This failure can be prevented by increasing the shear strength for this part of the column. Inadequate gaps between adjacent buildings. So uh, when buildings are sometimes constructed very close to each other, due to lack of building plots. When uh, this type of buildings are more prone to uh, damage, uh, if the floors of the buildings are not at the same level, the pounding effect of the buildings become more dangerous. So th this picture shows the building, uh, adjacent building collapse. So to prevent this problem, adequate gaps according to current code should be left between the adjacent buildings. Strong beam weak column. So deep and rigid beams are used with the flexible columns in such cases. In these uh, beam resist more moments 
occurred by the dynamic loads than the weak columns. So this shows the strong beam and weak column failure. So when deep and rigid beams are uh, used with the flexible columns, the weak column and the strong beam failure mechanism will be developed. To restrain this type of problem, some of the moments of the column connected at the any joint should be greater than some of the moments of the beam connected to the same joint. So poor concrete quality and corrosion also uh, the main reason for uh, damage. This so uh, the concrete quality is also an important factor. Handmade concrete without using the vibrator uh, can also cause severe damage to buildings. In addition to this, using of uh, improper granulometry or corrosion decreases the reinforcement bar area and also uh, smooth steel reinforcement also affects the strength of concrete. This picture shows the poor concrete quality and the second picture shows the smooth reinforcement bar damage. So this uh, reason, uh, this failure can be eliminated by inspecting the concrete and workmanship. So the next topic is leakage. Causes of water leakage and waste to prevent it. First is coarse aggregate. Coarse aggregate should be, uh, can be a main factor due to the leakage of concrete. Poorly graded or uh, containing dirt materials may lead to increase in the walls in the concrete, thereby increasing its permeability and results in water leakage. So a well graded aggregate can uh, eliminate the coarse aggregate issues. Similarly, in fine aggregate, the presence of impurities and improper fineness modulus can lead to water leakage. So a fine aggregate having minimum fineness modulus will also eliminate this defect. Both coarse and fine aggregates should be moistened to saturated surface dry condition before mixing process. Next is reinforcement bars. Using a prestige steel bars and presence of shutter oil can also cause the uh, uh, concrete leakage. And over reinforcement of bars can also create congestion and concrete placement which uh, may result in honeycombing. Uh, so honeycombing, uh, presence of honeycombing should be immediately treated after removing the form works. So next is extreme weather condition. The exposure of concrete to extreme weather condition may uh, result in three uh, failures. The first one is water seepage and the second one is uh, results in cracking due to the uh, exposed temperature changes. And the third one is uh, due to the presence of cold joints. So the use of fiber reinforcement can tackle this cracking problem for the loops. And uh, water dripping, damp patches, stain peeling, rust stains are also the uh, signs of water leakage in concrete roofs and floors. So cold joints. Cold joints are nothing but it occurs when the first batch of the concrete has begun to, to set before the next batch is added so that the two batches do not intermix and form a separate uh, uh, separate path like this so the application of shear key or chemical additives can tackle this problem and concrete placement issue segregation and bleeding of concrete are also a major problem in this so this picture shows the segregation of concrete and bleeding of concrete so mixed design should be prepared in the mine and uh, to be designed to prevent water leakage. Thank you, sir. Uh, Shivani, Shivani, uh, yeah. uh, you told uh, in one of the slides like uh, fineness model is something Yes, sir. Fineness model is something to me, Yes, sir. Abrina, yes, Abrina. The material or the size dancer. Material or the size? Ah, yes, Which material? Fine aggregate. 
எப்படி <laughs> 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 You know, yeah. Shear Key is the main thing you have to learn about retaining wall. Ah, design yes, of retaining yes. wall, Shear Key. So, what is the main thing you have to design about Shear Key? Resistance cargo, so lateral load should be resistant. Resistance against the earthquake, seismic load. That's all along. So, where is the building of Shear Key? You have to learn about Shear Key. And the columns, the columns go to the வருமான <laughs> இல்ல நான் சூப்பர் செக்ஷன்ல யோசிக்கிறேன் எப்படி வரும் அப்படினு இல்ல சார் நான் பேஸ்மென்ட்ல இருக்கேன் ஓகே கார்டர்ல கூட வர வாய்ப்பு இருக்கு கார்டர் ஓகே சோ ஹவ் மச் யூ வாண்ட் அவுட் ஆஃப் 10 7 7 ம் ஐ புட் இட் थैंक यू சிவனி थैंक यू அண்ட் சிவனி பிபிடி அனுப்பும்போது பிபிடியோட நேம் இருக்கு இல்லையா எஸ் சார் ஃபைல் நேம் அதுல உங்க பேர் உங்க டாபிக் ஆ ஓகே சார் உங்க டாபிக் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வர 